a bobtail proportioning relay valve. Uh, we've got two separate valves to show the operation of it. Uh, basically the lower half here is a, a normal relay valve. The normal relay valve has a supply circuit or service circuit, control circuit that comes from an application valve. In this case it would be the treadle valve. The treadle valve will send air to the relay piston. The relay piston will move down sealing the exhaust port and the relay valve, opening the supply port right here. Now that allows uh, air to come from the uh, primary air tank out to the service brake chambers on our Uh, allows it to come to the service brake chamber on our parking uh, brake chamber and uh, it'll push on the diaphragm and push the push rod out which reacts on the slack adjuster S cam and then applies the, the foundation brakes. So as the uh, air comes through here it opens up, allows air to come in on the supply. As soon as we get the equivalent on the bottom of the piston as what's being applied on the top, the piston is said to go into a state of balance. So the, the intake valve down here closes and we go into a state of hold. If the driver were to step on the treadle valve and give it 20 psi, the piston the relay piston would move down. Now because we have 20 psi on the top and only 10 on the bottom, it'll open up the supply port and as it opens up the supply port, once we get 20 psi acting on the bottom here, it closes the supply port. The signal is taken away so the driver lifts his foot off the treadle valve. Then uh, air will be exhausted from the top side of the relay piston. Now the 20 psi or whatever's on the bottom of the piston will cause it to move up, opening the exhaust port and we exhaust the, any air in the circuit from the uh, service brakes back to the relay valve through the uh, exhaust port on the relay valve. Now with a bobtail portioning relay valve, what they've done is they've taken the, the limiting valve and they've put the limiting valve uh, on the top half of the relay valve. And what they do is they send air from your treadle valve to the, to the inlet of the ratio valve and then as the air comes through below 60 psi and without a trailer on, the uh, air delivered to the relay valve and onto your service brakes would be at half the rate of what's being applied to it. So if we put 10 pounds of air into this valve because the surface area on the bottom being twice as on the top, as the uh, valve is opened up to allow air to go by to the bottom half of the relay valve, as soon as we get 5 psi in the bottom, it would close it. So it goes unbalanced. When we get the equivalent air pressure uh, by half on the bottom side of this piston area because of the double surface area, it closes or goes into a state of balance. So this valve uh, was designed to help prevent rear wheel lockup when you were lightly loaded as in the case of bobtailing with a tractor and no trailer on. Now when the driver had a trailer on, this valve became a one to one because what they would do is they would send a signal from our dash valve, the red dash valve here, trailer air supply valve. When they push this valve in to supply air to the trailer, it, there was a signal also sent to this valve as well. Uh, when that occurred, it caused this outer piston here to the outer piston here to compress. And when that outer piston is compressed, is, uh, compresses the spring in here, it holds the uh, smaller uh, piston on the bottom half, 
open and it gives it one to one. So if the driver gives it 10 PSI here, 10 PSI go to the service brakes. 20, 20 go to the service brakes. When the driver pulls out the red dash valve, air is exhausted from this portion of the valve. Therefore, we need at least 60 pounds to compress the upper piston. So any application below 60 PSI will be delivered at half the rate. Uh, as the driver is requesting up to 60 PSI. At 60 PSI the valve fully opens and you get one to one. These valves are uh, bobtail proportioning relay valves are pre-anti-lock brakes. Uh, they're still an option and still available however uh, the anti-lock brakes does a better job at preventing wheel lockup uh, under uh, most road conditions. Uh, this was uh, uh, a good idea but uh, the problem is when you reduce the air pressure by half to the service brakes it changes the road feel for the driver. So if they've been driving for some time with a trailer on suddenly they bobtail, they have half the service brakes at the rear axle, they have to relearn how to brake. So that can be a little bit of a, a panic-stricken drive uh, while they're, they're readjusting to the brake feel. And uh, w when they first came out with bobtail proportioning relay valves, uh, we had a lot of complaints from drivers that they didn't have proper braking or adequate braking when they were bobtailing. And that's simply because of the situation. They reduced the air pressure of the rear brakes by half, helping to prevent wheel lockup but when you do that you change the road feel and that needs a little bit of a learning curve for most people to relearn.